Hello Mike and Angela, I'm going to show you how to do this on a little video, hopefully. Um, let's have a look at the type of form, you've probably seen this already, but what that form that we did at school the other day generates is this spreadsheet. So you make the form and it makes a spreadsheet automatically with the titles of your questions all the way along the top and the answers along the bottom. And if you zoom along to the right, the names are all at the end. You have to get people to enter their names because they're not logging in. So that's an important point, so just have a quick look at the form, it looks like this. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, nice and easy. It's really easy to do. So you create yourself a Gmail account, and along the back bar, the black bar at the top, you'll get um, the documents. So or you click on more and go to documents or whatever, you'll find it. So when you're in documents, click on create, go to form, and it will give you what looks like this. So um, so you'll want to call this IPT Review uh, 2012 for Dive Art. So when you first make one, then just think about you're making it like... Um, uh, Please do more of this. Um, you, you think about making the template version that you will copy and change the name for each student, and every time you copy it, it will generate a new spreadsheet for that student. So then you have to work out what you're doing the questions. So you look at your um, your document here, and you have to kind of work out the different targets that they're doing. So how you set the targets out, etc., is up to you. But you can just go and copy the text. Um, so it might be that you put the text in here. Um, like this, or it might be that you put it in a different way. You're going to want a different kind of question, so you drop this down and put what you want uh, multiple choice, and then um, oh, sorry, you go and get the you want achieved, partly achieved, not achieved. So um, achieved, partly achieved, and not achieved. So you want this to be like so. And you can have it as a required question or not, um, like this. Okay. Um, you'll also want to put in a different kind of question. So you can add item, and you want just a little text question um, because you want uh, teacher's name, uh, so um, or name of the person putting it in, or whatever. You want that kind of thing. So you click on that, and you make it required. There's no way of proving that they are who they say they are. Um, to be honest, other than no one will see the form um, except for all that. You might want to choose from a list as well. Um, uh, of subject, um, so you, and then um, from the list you go and put in ADT, um, uh, science, whatever, and, and you keep going and you spell them correctly, obviously. Um, but all of these things would be repeated, and you make that require question, etc. And this is how it would present. No, it's not. Um, well, I'll show you that in a minute. Oh uh, yeah, so you go and present, and people would choose accordingly like that. Um, once you've done this and you go and save it, you can choose a theme, but obviously that's not important. Um, and, and you tend to want it nice and clean anyway, because you want it to be professional. Um, I'm bored of waiting for that, so I'm going to go there, turn it off, and make sure that's saved. And then when you go back into Google Docs, you'll see there's the, the spreadsheet's automatically been created. You can go and click on that, and it puts it in that way. So if we now go to... Uh, we're going to turn that form off, sorry, and from the new spreadsheet that we've just made, we go to form, uh, go to live form. This URL up here is the one that you would send out to teachers to do. Um, so I put achieved, I would put um, uh, whatever in here, and um, my name is Diabarns, and my subject, obviously my science teacher, and it would be whether they had met these targets or not. Um, and that's that. You could, you can go back and edit the forms once you've started um, playing with them. Um, but please note that the questions come out in the order that you make them in the spreadsheet. So if I go and put a question at the top now, it will appear in the last column of the spreadsheet back here. Um, so for example, if I go and add some, uh, you can do section headers, which might be helpful. You can just pull things up and down like this. Off you go up there, thank you very much, and you might do here, it might be handwriting, or it might be some particular set of skills, and, and whatever. Like so, and this is just to tell people what it is, it's just a break, basically. Um, and so, and then you can save that, and then turn it off, turn it off. And then go and see the live form again, where is it? Uh, good form, live form and it'll be automatically updated. You can see with that section in there. Okay, so easy to use, have a go, see what you think. Um, it should be good.